Hey everybody, welcome back to City Car Driving. And, well, we are going to be taking a look at this car. The 2016 Volkswagen Passat Wagon R-Line. So, all we're gonna, I was just checking this car out, seeing how it was, and we're going to change the color. Alright, Racing Red. And now, th they just recently updated, so they overhauled the controls set setup. So, it actually makes a little bit more sense to use the automatic transmission. So, we're going to give it a shot, see how it goes. We're going to also go ahead and put the anti-lock brakes on the car as well. Because, well, it's a fucking 2016. And, honestly, this high end of a car, it would have it. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look. We, I was just driving around here in the old district because I wanted to try the car out before we did anything. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and go here in the Southern District. And we're going to start right here. And we'll most likely drive around the Southern District a little bit. Uh, and just check it out. So, um, I was going to say, I think they also tweak certain things. Yep, we got a di different times and different types of weather and so on and so forth. And all that good fun shit. But we're going to leave a lot of the settings alone. And enough of me yakking. Let's get into the game and take a look at this thing. Alrighty, guys. Here we are. Here is our Passat. And my mouse has disappeared. There it is. Alright. Pretty nice looking car. Looks like... I, I think we're kind of hovering above the ground. That and the car thinks it's hollow. Because if you look underneath the car, you could kind of see right through it. Ah. Uh, Turn our hazard lights. You kind of have to zoom in, but you see that they light up on all four corners. They look pretty realistic. I really haven't seen a Passat wagon recently, but those do look pretty accurate. i uh, put my foot on the brake. Put it in. Go ahead and start the car. We put in reverse, and we see the reverse lights come on. We have our brake lights. Turn the the headlights on and we see the rear lights uh, got your running light it's or excuse me running lights low beams high beams so uh, and obviously side repeaters on the mirrors and all that fun stuff car I like the car in red it doesn't look bad uh, let's go ahead hop in it here all these different camera angles uh, I'm gonna actually shut the car off and when you first get in here everything is dark can't see shit actually your head's kind of in the middle of the, the headrest here but when you start the car up everything comes to life here uh, like most cars the switch gear does not move around so it is what it is it's up to the game standards which is good enough for me uh, your indicators come on your they are a little dim, but it's nice that, well, I was going to say, the lights actually kind of dim when it turns on, but the ga the gauges are a little difficult to read. It'd be nice if they you could make them a little uh, brighter. Okay, enough yakking. I'm going to turn my track IR on. There we go. Look down, look up, left, right, stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> All right. So the nice thing is with the they with this update they also improved the shifter. So I'm actually looking over my G27. So park is all the way to the right and up where fifth gear would be. Drive is where sixth is. And now you don't have to put it in neutral and then hit a key to get reverse. You push down, you put it in reverse, and you fucking get reverse. Thank you, devs. That is awesome. All right, we're going to go ahead, put the car in reverse. And also, one, two, and three are one, two, and three. So, fourth gear really doesn't do anything. So, kind of would make sense if it was like uh, beam and G's where the park was first, drive, three, two, one, and then reverse would be over here. And hey, one of my friends is playing Counter Strike, whatever. All right, uh, find the right gear here. All right, let's get going. We're in drive. We're in a parking lot, so I'm not worrying about a lot of this shit right now. Okay, and a lot of these cars drive well. It's just, is there anything going on with these with this car that would 
make you not want to drive it. And honestly, I just drove it again. I drove. I decided with this episode I was going to try something different. I drove the car for about 10-15 minutes before I got in here. Fuck off. The, the lights out means it's a four-way stop, you douche. All right. Oh! Jack wagon. Anybody over there? Nope. We're going to go ahead and go over here. What are you doing? Fine. I'm fucking cutting you. You drive like that around my area, you, you fucking deserve to get cut off. Uh, I was going to say, the, the one thing I will say is it does not look like the gauges are that accurate. Okay, I'm driving a little slow, because that's indicating 1,000 RPM, and it, I'm at 1,700. So the gauges for this car might be more for a diesel. Uh, looking in, looks like those are reading KMH. I was going to say, they're really close to MPH, if you ask me, so... Meh. Not going to... I'm going to tag the car on those, but it is a nice car, and if you have the little heads-up display on, it doesn't mean a damn bit of difference, so... All right. Okay, that means my ass is turning to the right. Next time I get a chance... Oh, this car having about 300 horsepower means yo ass, if you're not careful, you're going to spin the wheels. So, I build up a little bit of speed. We're actually going to pull in here. I mean, this is an R line, so it's a fast car, but there's less traffic in here, so we can kind of uh, gun it. All right, we're going to go to the right here. Comply with the speed limit while well, kiss my ass. Speed limit's about 12 miles an hour. I think we got enough room over here that once I straighten out, I'll floor it. Alright. Yeah. No. Nope. We're going to want to go to... Let's see. Let's go down the center one. I'm going to go ahead and make the left here. I'm going to stop... Put my hazards on, foot on the brake. We're going to back up. Keep an eye on the mirror there. All right. Three, two, one. Throw it in gear. We're pretty quick, but oh my god, this road. Oh dear lord. <laughs> okay. This is not a good idea in here, so. All right. Okay, let's go back out on the, if we're gonna drive like a speed demon, let's actually do it on the main road. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. I will admit that was one of my dumber decisions. After that BMW. Okay. I'm going to be let out, so I'm cutting all the way over. All right. Hang on. This is a very fast car. 70, 80. Wow. Oh, we're in second. No wonder. Oh, fuck. Oh, don't hit the tree! I, I clipped the tree. Oh, fuck. Fucking that dickhead. Oh, okay. Let's pull in here. Uh, okay. Uh, that... That's pretty much this car. Um... Uh, 
in with that piece of insane driving i think we're just gonna parker and just relax so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please like subscribe all that good fun shit until next time have a good one